Welcome to a story time with a wordless book. So this is a special story time for Picture Book Month, and I want to share a picture book that's by one of my favorite illustrator and author, Christian Robinson. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how are we going to read a book that has no words and only pictures? Well, very easily. You use the pictures to tell the story. I'm sure you've heard the saying, a picture tells a thousand words. So I'm going to give you some hints as we go along, okay? But this is for you to tell your story along with Christian Robinson. Can you tell what color these bookends have? What time of the day do you think it might be? There's stars in the skies, some constellations. So, what time of the day do you think this is? And here are some more clues. Is the cat looking at the blue of this, you think? What room do you think they're in? Who's in this room? What are they doing? And the last bit. Whose toy do you think that is down there? And if you look on the girl's expression on her face, do you think she's having a good dream? And did you notice anything on the side of the book? Yes, a big white hole opening up. So let's read the story. Do you know what's happening? I bet you do. We turn it upside down because it looks like something is happening this way. Which way do we go? Now pay close attention to this page or these pages. You notice anything about the children? I think our story is coming to an end.
Do you think they enjoyed their adventure? Did you like the story? I did. And that's why I wanted to share it with you. So, I hope you pick up this book, Another by Christian Robinson, and tell your version of this story or tell any story that you want with your friends and your family. I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's make a magic circle so that you can go through it to another world just like the little girl. In order to cut a magic circle that you can step through, fold your piece of paper like an eight and a half by 11 in half lengthwise. And then use a ruler to mark lines evenly apart but alternating so that you don't cut through the entire thing and then you cut along the lines and when you finish cutting along the lines that's it and you what you'll have is instead of one piece of paper eight and a half by eleven you've made a magical circle that you can step through and pretend like you're in another world just like the little girl